Previously, Islam don't really have a good impression to me because it seems to me that their people are poor, backward, and idols uh, all the time. Previously, la, sorry. La. <laughs> so, my path to Islam starts with Rothschild and Rockefeller. So, ever since I came to know about this name, I began to research about these two families and I was amazed by uh, how much power that they have accumulated over the years, over the generations. And then these two names led me to uh, secret societies like Illuminatis, Freemasons, Skulls and Bones, and uh, Hollywood's celebrities. So after reading about them for a while, I decided to pause my research for a while. For if I continue to carry on my work, I'm worried that I may become depressed because this circle of people are famous and wealthy but the lifestyle that they are involved in are very sickening and the ritual that they do is very disgusting, very disgusting. So I decided to take a break on this research for if I carry on my research, I may become depressed. But one thing that struck my mind was that these people, regardless of uh, politicians, royalty, actor, musician, or sportsmen, they seem to like to cover up only one eye when taking photo. Now, who the heck will cover only one eye when taking photo? Not two eyes, not nose, not mouth, not ears, only one eye. So my question is, why only one eye? And so I switch the focus of my research into this one eye mystery. And so I look into many sources. The two which are more convincing to me was Christian source and Islamic source. In the Christian source, I couldn't get much details from them because all I can get is just uh, I know the fact that you know this one eye thing is an uh, antichrist. And so I look for Islamic source. And so I try to search about it, but I don't really quite understand. So from this point onwards, I always felt there's a hidden force that is pushing me towards this conversion. But I kept delaying because of uh, two reasons. The first one was that I'm worried that my mom will not be able to accept me as a Muslim. And secondly, the five daily prayers, which seems a heavy commitment to me. And as I was kept delaying, so one day, I suddenly have these thoughts. I felt, why Islam? Why not Christianity? Why not other religions, right? So I began searching in the internet to look for this world's top 10 religion and list down each of them and try to understand what they are. So I take out those religions that are not so relevant and left only Christianity, Islam, Buddhism and folks' religion. So I start to look into more detail about this religion, these four religions. So the first one being the folk religions. And the folk religion that was closest to me is Taoism. Because I came from Taoism, I know that in Taoism we worship a lot of gods. And the new god are kept showing up. Now, the logic of god is that god can only be one and god cannot be created. So. And then I look into uh, Buddhism. Well, Buddhism is fine. The teaching is very good. But Buddhism seems to me more like a healthy lifestyle. The teaching is all about do good and be a good person. And there's no worship required. So my question is, how can it be no God when everything seems to be created for a purpose? Then I look into Christianity. And at the beginning, I was happy because I finally don't have to accept Islam. Maybe I can just convert as a Christian because after all, they are still worshipping one God. And on the surface, they have a religious book and they are worship one God. So yeah, this is the, the, the religion. But as I read more and more, I was confused by their concept of God. They say their concept of God is a Trinity. They say their God consists of Father of God, the, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. So instead of three God, they say it's a one God. So how can one plus one plus one equals to one? And then remain only Islam. 
but I don't accept the religion easily. So I begin by stress testing the religion and try to find thoughts about Islam by referring to Islamic haters and uh, ex-Muslim. I thought this would be the religion that has the least mistake, but it turned out to be a perfect religion in every aspect, in every way. And Quran has zero error, no error at all in the grammar, in the wording, and in the context. So I was really disappointed that time. I got no choice but to go for Islam. But in my mind, I'm still thinking I'm not going to convert now, maybe in the 10 years time. And so my world got even more strange. I began to see Allah everywhere, not the physical being, but rather his sign. And the force was pushing me even stronger this time. So one day when I was watching YouTube, a video of Dr. Zakir Naik show up and he made me click on the video so that I watch it to get a slap of replies from him saying that you cannot accept Islam because of your own desire. And this own desire, these two words really hits me directly in, in my heart. I cannot help myself but to cry and start mourning over myself. I was thinking uh, that why do you have to humiliate me in such a way? So I was thinking why I'm always being the unlucky one, damning myself and start thinking there are billions and billions of people out there. Why do you have to pick me, to prank me on this? And so life went on for a little while until a video of another convert shows up and moves my heart again. So after struggling for so long, it only take one prayer to change my entire faith. I took Shahada the next day. So after I embraced Islam, I felt peace in my heart and uh, tranquility in my mind. As for my lifestyle, majority are the same uh, with an addition of five daily prayers and no pork and no alcohol. And even though I'm a Muslim now, I'm still a Chinese. So I'm still celebrating Chinese New Year except any events or any activities that clash with my religion, I would have to avoid it. So before I embrace Islam, I always thought that the five daily prayers will be the hardest thing to do but ever since I tasted the sweetness of Iman and seeing so many miracles had happened the five daily prayers is not a problem at all in fact I will even do it if it is a 50 prayers a day so as for my mom everyone including me was thinking that she will not accept me as a Muslim until her last breath but surprisingly after four months of conversion, we began talking normally and in this year 2020, she even greet me Selamat Hari Raya and even pushing me to get her a Malay Muslim daughter-in-law. So looking back, although I've done so many wrong decisions, but this turned out to be the best decision and the only regret that I've got was I should have converted earlier. If I have to give an advice to wrap up the session, then it will be this. Just do it, put your trust in Allah and everything will be fine, inshallah.